My Journey to the Stars Story of Self Mastery I am the human. I am the human because I know love. I was born a sacred feminine and a sacred masculine through the womb of a sacred feminine on this sacred earth. I grew from my heart and I can learn to speak its language. As the fetus in my mother's womb, I have my greatest connection to the divine. And I was born with that spark within, my eternal flame, with the internal fortitude and will to live, to drive me forward, learning how to create my own bubble of reality. Born through the forgetting of the birth canal, but I know I have the means to access my memories in light, so I can learn how to dream my own great dream of peace. For as a human I was born with all the knowingness within, already having the connection to all that is, was and will be. I have the ability to learn to be the shaman of my own technology and I am human because I can use my heart mind to connect again to the fetus and call forth my ancient future wisdom in order that I may learn, grow, evolve, to love unconditionally, to find the sacred neutrality that is my birthright. I am human because I have the rites of passage to discover the resources that carry me through the challenges of life on earth. I am human. I live, love and learn. At times I learn through repetition, which brings illumination, which I use for self-growth, self-discovery. I am human because I know I carry the blood of my ancestors and I feel my heart beat and I know it beats for all ancestors. And when I do the work of self-healing, I heal all ancestors past, present and future. I was born with choices and potentials of my own to carry forward the mantle of responsibility to be the self-illuminated master. A human knows in their heart there is something more beyond the petty distractions of the global narrative and survival living. I am human when I see through the programmes that run us and I work to eliminate them from my life so that it's my heart mind that makes my decisions and gives me my perspectives. I have the skill sets to hack the hologram and fortify my own hologram. As a human, I'm unique. I am a catalyst for change. I know I hold infinite potential. Born with the wisdom within me of why I dream this dream, I'm human when music moves me to tears and yet can make me dance. I'm human because I can feel my heart singing, because I laugh and cry, sing and speak, run and dance and sleep and dream. I can smell the sweet smell of hay, and when rain is coming, I feel the tugging of the winds in my hair and the warming of the sun on my skin. I breathe in the sharp freshness of the chill air on a frosty winter's day. I can smile. I am the human recognising my heart is full of undiscovered treasures and that I am here to make the unknown known. As a human, I have choices, the choosing of which creates yet more choice points. I have the choice to use imagination and vision, which opens me up to co-create with great spirit and great mystery, a beautiful, never-ending voyage of discovery. As a human, my prayers are prayers of thanks and poems and connections from my heart to my ancestors. I am the hero. This is when the human evolves enough to make self-aware choices to step out of mediocrity. A human turns acquired knowledge into wisdom by action. I am the hero by becoming awake and aware that I am more than I have heard, read or studied and having the courage to develop an unlimited point of view, to create sacred space and carve out sacred time and to use out loud name it to claim its statements. Even when the whole world seems to be yelling at you that you're being selfish. I am the hero by committing myself to a path of self-discovery and self-healing, which is not in alignment with the system of mediocrity and distraction. The system tells you they know best and that without it you'd be struggling. A hero knows that outcreating the system will help them reclaim their own sovereignty. 
a hero steps forward to do their own great work, regardless of the projections put upon them by those around them, including loved ones, who are still in the hypnosis of obedience and slavery. A hero's stance is frightening to those who unquestionably conform. A hero can lose friends and family through this fear. I am the hero because I had to fight back tears when my truth is met with scorn and ridicule, teasing from others as a giveaway of their fear of change. When my sacred neutrality is seen as weakness and my intent questioned as a human, my heart can break, but as a hero I know deep. I know with a deep unwavering belief that this is part of the journey I must go through. As a hero I learn to conquer old habit patterns that are working against me and I stop arguing for my own limitations. A hero is not a martyr. I do not sacrifice my own needs for others. I am a hero by being sovereign and working on my own development and healing, allowing others to do the same if they should choose to take up that mantle of responsibility. A hero does not tread on another's journey, but commits themselves to their own path. I am a hero because I know it's not what you think, it's what you believe, and I've chosen to believe in me, self-trust, self-acknowledgement, self-nurture. Facing obstacles in the seen and unseen world and taking on as a discipline the spiritual hygiene and sacred practices and ceremonies as the scheduled heart agenda driven need to maintaining an increasing frequency and sovereignty and the setting of sacred boundaries. The path of a hero is not easy. You must own your self core, own your power in a system that wants to take it from you in all kinds of overt and covert ways. I'm a hero as I make myself aware of this and have spiritual practices and postures to keep me sovereign. A hero knows the path of truth can be a lonely road, but does not operate as a hermit practitioner, for that serves no purpose for the greater good. A hero has recognised the illusory limitation set up by the self and has done the work to overcome the worry and fear, recognising that they are the product of a lack of trust in the self. Therefore, a hero has learnt self-trust. My daily spoken prayers and meditations have become prayer dances of joy with music that makes tears flow. I am the champion. As a champion, I throw off all shackles in the seen and unseen world. I offer my full service in contribution to the light. I am a champion when, as a self-illuminated master, I can see through the trickery and lies of the system of domination and control. And yet I do not confront it, for I know that in that action I am adding more of the same frequency. A champion has learnt to outcreate the system by sacred living, by revocations, claiming sovereignty, ceremonies, alchemy, and aligning with the frequencies of earth of the natural way of living. A champion lives in the divine flow and creates sacred ways and moments, and has learnt to live from one sacred moment to the next as moment-to-moment -moment sacred living on earth, living the mystical life daily in a seamless bonded stream of self-healing, self-worth, self-value and self-appreciation and unconditional love. You cannot trigger a champion into retaliation. A champion will open their hearts because they are not afraid and pour out the endless stream of love that flows through them. Yet they are not fools. Champions have learnt the lessons of life of self-protection from energies not coming and equal co-creation that siphon life force. And they are prepared. They have mastered the discipline of spiritual hygiene and know it's a discipline. I am a champion for I have been through the deepest fear of a shaman's death, of extreme anxiety, disturbance, loss of life force, hollowness and emptiness before the separation of densities removed old cells there to distort and destroy or work against my I am self. This takes the courage of a champion. I am the champion when I know how to flip the frequencies and engage my precognitive workforce of I am presences so I may be the sole arbiter of my life, out creating the system's plans for me. As a champion, I am engaging many of the skill sets I've learned as a synthesis of human and hero. Victories are not seen as glorification. 
Victories are a personal achievement of being a sacred neutral observer and learning from the rites of passage that are milestones to my own personal spiritual path. The dancing of the prayer dance for a champion is beautiful. It is in divine flow with the heart of a warrior and the mind and body of a sacred feminine, the music carrying me to the depths of my soul in joy. I am the unvanquished great dreamer of peace. And from my heart space knowing this pours the unlimited love for all sentient kind, with a deep wisdom that knows the potency of peace. I am unvanquished, unconquerable, because I chose sovereignty of the self. I chose self-mastery. I chose to be a signature frequency match to peace. I am a peacemaker and peacekeeper. As the great dreamer of peace, I recognise that all spiritual paths are to be honoured, for all must follow their own inner guidance and heart. A great dreamer of peace works in these seen and unseen worlds, dreaming into the dream space of loved ones, repatriating soul shards and bringing back wholeness, repairing and bonding fractalised dream spaces. I have stood up in dreams as a sovereign potent being, carrying my staff bound with feathers and crystals to protect others and myself. I have removed entities from the dream spaces of myself and loved ones. I am unvanquished and I know as a great dreamer that we all have the potential to dream the great dream of peace and to create the fifth world of peace by dreaming that dream. I know that every step I walk as the unvanquished great dreamer of peace is one that is in synchronicity with great spirit. Great spirit works through me and with me. Words flow, whether spoken, written or typed. I have remembered who I am and why I dream this dream. I am the mighty manifester of the great dream of peace and unity. I honour myself as self-illuminated master holding the great dream of peace. I ride the celestial winds of change with heightened awareness, integrity and intuition, carrying the message of the unvanquished dream of peace. For I am unconquered, a sovereign arbiter of peace. As the unvanquished great dreamer of peace, my luminescence will help awaken my sleeping brothers and sisters of earth the next generation of peacemakers and peacekeepers. As I show loving lightness and grace and a new way of living on earth, I carry the universal message of sovereignty, freedom and peace. I am so free I chose to experience the illusion of non-freedom on earth. As the unvanquished great dreamer of peace, I pilot a voyage as a great medium of peace, sharing knowledge of sovereignty consciousness, maxims of equity, for I have the courage to look within and read the encodings imprinted on my heart since my first birth of all my eternal births. And my prayer dances under the stars with a heart full of joy, where I call forth spirals of stardust from the ends of my outstretched fingers. And peace fills my soul, for I know I have earned this rites of passage. I am the dragon. As an unvanquished dreamer of the great dream of peace, I now conjure my dragon. I initiate the force of my dragon with my deep breath and surrender to this zero-point energy, the raw spirit and pure grace that is me. As the dragon, I feel the harmony of my body being in touch with the universe to move me through different dimensions at speed, to raise my awareness, to take me beyond my mind and help me move my energy and shift any stagnation so I may gain greater clarity. I am the dragon. We are the ancient ones, the great holders of the universal truths, our ancient freedoms, ancient knowingness, our ancestors. When I am a dragon, I harbour within me the adventurous spirit. I am a trailblazer into the velvety depth of all time space, of all the galaxies and universes and beyond that which outcreate even the grandeur of my current perspective. I trust in myself, riding the synchronised flow of the energies as I create new pathways, weave new dreams and program realities. I ride the currents and cosmic airflow of the four celestial winds, free and untethered, so I may create new dream spaces with the thread of the eighth colours of time. I am the seeker of knowledge, the returning voyager of all time space, weaving new streams of light, igniting the peacemaker's fire with my dragon breath and lighting the torches that show the path to the fifth and sixth world of universal peace, discovering the past, present and future, 
spreading the message of unity wherever I go. I manifest my own sovereign layer of reality and I know my path will be best served with humility and right action, giving up any illusions of control and deepening my relationship with all that is, was and ever will be. As the dragon, my sacred heart will be my compass in all frequencies of light. For I'm a grand source connected being. When I co-create with the eight colours of time, I become my own elder of this time of earth. I am the dragon. This is my legacy. And my prayer dance is in divine flow. It lifts my dragon wings. And all I know is love and beauty in all its forms. Aho. Uh-huh.